Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are. My name is Zarklin, and the time has finally come that I get to play the Outer Worlds. What do we have here? Crazy man from the trailer. Phineas. You got a partner named Ferb? Huh? 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 And there we are, somewhere. We're gonna go for talking our way out of things and being pretty smart. We're gonna go for long guns. A gunslinger. Oh, they're going to tell stories about you from here to heaven. Yep, yeah, and I'm gonna lie and then persuade my way through as much as I possibly can. And then I'll shoot you from 500 yards. So give us an extra to persuade. Handle bits for a living, huh? Now I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward. Of course, we will carry on the usual name. All right, here we go. Better run, man. Get me out of here. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Let's go, Rick. Not likely, bootlickers. Initiate skip. You just woke me up, buddy. Don't get me killed. Terra 2. Alright, he's got himself a nice little asteroid base here. <sighs> Shit. You got me, though, so that's all that matters. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years. 70 years, huh? Normally, reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Oh, I hope your concoction runs better than your ship. Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies, saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable right, right, on Right, right, of course my they do. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! What's supposed to happen? You should really get that looked at, man. Contact cleaner. It'll help those buttons. And away we go. Kind of getting a little bit of a uh, Bioshock Infinite vibe on this, too. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Yep, I can hear you. Ah, Just fine. You now, how do now, I get out of here? Where were we? Oh, yes. A smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him. I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm all colonists. Are counting I guess we get to be the hero. Now entering ammo. Not gonna skip this for now. We'll go through the sequence first time through. Clearly we've been in an escape pod before. How else would we know what buttons to push? Ah, yep, like I'm here. Good. Hawthorne should be close by. What? Yep, really close. Name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship nope. go to waste. Can we take any of his stuff? Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame well, about the you don't need to worry about it now. Thing. Nasty way to go. 
The world is beautiful, I will say that. Did a nice job on the atmosphere. What are you, little fella? Come here. Guy sleeping or is he dead? Very, very dead. He has no no legs. Can we loot him? Might as well. Don't, 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 no, don't see me, don't see me. You are a very, very ugly something. Oh, he saw me. No, no, no. Go, go, go. What is this? You see now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. I want side effects, Doc. I just want to stay alive. Ah! That hurt. All right, F to heal. Go. Who's this guy? Hey, you. Come here. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. What? What, what is wrong with you? What spacers what? Oh, we're all part of the spacers choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds Way of that, to go, right? buddy. Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. You're an idiot. You know what, just give me your gun, I'll get out of here. You did all yeah, this just okay. for a parking ticket. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, now that. <sighs> you are an odd, odd fellow. I don't even know what's going on. Some dude wakes me up, tells me I've been out for 70 years. And that my cells may explode. Drops me off on a planet and says, go get him some chems so we can wake up everybody else. Blow the canisters. Let's be on our way. Damn it, my ears! Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, your gear is just not, not awesome. More of that. Okay, tactical time dilation. Let's see, if we zoom and we'll make him bleed in the arm. Come up here, let's flank him, blow these up. There we go. Good on you, Obsidian. I'm liking it. I haven't even made it out of the tutorial. Oh, our first lockpick. Telescoping staff. <laughs> Try out our time dilation. I usually don't play very sneaky. I don't know how anybody else prefers to play this style of game. I usually just go for a big gun and hope I can kill as many in one shot as I can. But I'm going to take more of a slow approach. Yeah, I'm right here. I'm gonna go for a gun build. See how much we can maximize on our time dilation. Oh, here, let's melee. Let's try some melee. Nice. I may have to do a melee build if I play through this a second time. Who are these guys? Get I just killed. fought off a bunch of guys. What do you want? Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Gull on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Oh, yes, about. because parking tickets are the worst thing ever. One of your boys is up the road there. Really? How is he? He's a moron. How about you? Of course I am. I'm a superior officer. Stands to reason, don't it? Just you watch. I'll cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal mm. defense. I just, you know, 
Need a couple of winks to catch Right, my right. Stretch my legs, son. You just, uh, you just hide here. You know what? You really wanted to give that parking ticket. Why don't you just go after him? You think? Most marauders can't even talk. The criminals do attract other yes, criminals parking by violators. Their They're right on you par with right. raiders. You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking. Yeah, animated. better be in triplicate too. Here we go. Come on, let's get these folks out of here. I want a ship. I didn't mean to shoot you in the back there, buddy. I'm getting out of here, guys. You go look for your parking violator. Welcome Please aboard. That this the unreliable. No, no, nothing worth stealing. Let's go. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. No, they're outside. They don't really seem competent. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted sources. Well, hello, sources. Ada. Please return any misappropriated. Do you know Gladys? You sound like you know Gladys. In orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Right. Okay. Yeah. Destroy me. What are you gonna do? Blow up? Gesture procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Well, aren't you crazy? Airlocks, huh? We're on the ground. Hey, look at that. Yes, you realize you cannot hurt me. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. Yeah, listen, we just need to go. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain I kind of smushed him. Hawthorne. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from well, Captain that's tragic. Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Okay, but I'm not. I understand. You are speaking metaphorically. You wandered outside this ship. And experienced a permanent, life-changing encounter. The old you is <laughs> yes, dead. Yes, very dead. Welcome I met a shrink on the way back. Hawthorne. I extend felicitations and congratulations on your life-changing experience. Sure. Great. Get out of here. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged. Great. It must be okay. Replaced. Yeah, of course. Now, where am I supposed to find it? The settlement of Edgewater is located nearby. I recommend speaking to the administrator of Edgewater and requesting assistance. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Yeah, sure thing. I got it. I am unre I am captain of the unreliable. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. You guys are still here, huh? Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. Yeah, you're not paying me anything. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's just lie to him. I'm the I'm the safety inspector. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Sure thing. Have fun. This game is definitely a background generator. I need to come back and get some screenshots. Still got one alive.
Axe legs right off. Nicely done. Goodbye. Now we are looking good. A little camp up here before we go to town. See if we can get some good loots. Who are you? Marauder Lookout. I want your rifle. Grenades would be nice right about now. Stealth doesn't help after you fire a shot. 200 XP for a kill, not bad. Why are you cowering? That's gotta be one of our skills. I just want your gun. Don't know you, don't need to. These guys, come on. I gotta get a rifle. That's whole half the reason I came up here. There we go. That is one ugly mug. Whoa, hey. Where'd you come from? Yeah, I fell out of the sky, buddy. That's what I keep telling everybody. Running around in a marauder's attire. <gasps> yes! Liable to give some people the, the clothes matter. Idea. It's in poor taste. Dressing up like a marauder's disrespectful to all the workers that got eaten by him. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Okay, fine. Nice to meet you. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been Take hauling the extra corpses. 30 XP for lying. You don't want none of that on you. Name Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Spacer's Choice family, huh? Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. W what's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? I guess I'll be a freelancer. Depends on what you're working for, man. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues. Talk about see. a dystopia. You gotta pay for where they dig in. Stick you in. Anyway, I need the money. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, we'll take a little bit of a Martin side quest Abernathy. off to start. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. That, that's enough. I gotta go, man. I'm out of here. Welcome to Edgewater. Where does any stranger go when they first come into town? The bar. Definitely Space Western. God, I love this. This is so great. Is it Unification Day? I'll sit down and start a fight. Can I sit? Sure there is. Oh, you can't yeah, sit. Zero G. Why can you never sit? We're gonna go find this Reed character. We've got places to go. This is not a place I want to stick around. Anybody home? Nobody's watching. Wow, this place does kind of suck. Making people schedule their sick leave ahead of time. What do we have here? Is this stealing? Are we gonna steal? Yeah, we're not gonna steal right now. Here we go. The grease monkey, Argo. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson, I think there's someone here to see you. Yes, I am. Focus, Miss Holcomb, you and I are still talking. But I'm just gonna sit here and lurk. Let's What's talk. going on? Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? 
She's expecting Seltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with... Well... It's people! Much. Seltuna is people. Listen, dude. Seems we've got I get things to talk about. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you... Parvati told myself. you. I was standing right here. I need to talk to you. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I must say, wearing a marauder's outfit is in very poor taste. I do wish you'd show your uniform a little more respect. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't work for Spacer's Choice. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Listen, I just need it repaired. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Yeah, don't worry. I'm not going to fry myself, okay? There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Mostly abandoned, huh? What are you saying? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. You're going to make a lot of people mad, buddy. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But, like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Of course you do. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. I'm not making any promises, buddy. I just want to get out of here. I understand completely. Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. A sign of good faith for so politely listening to me as I ramble on. Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know my way around. I, I mean, in case you want a guide. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. Sure, I'll get her out of here. Great! I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so... I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you. And thank you again Let's for your Let's get help. going. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. It sure is, but you wouldn't want to get your hands dirty now, would you? So we are off. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. All right. You got things to say that you don't want him to hear. Come on. Let's get out of here. All right. We're gone. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office we're before we talk. We're in the elevator. All right, how about how about out here? Hey, Mister. We we talk? What? Five feet Sorry. above wasn't good enough. Can we talk? Sorry, I. You just want to get out of here, and you likely don't want to tag along. I like don't me. care who comes. It's I just, just want to go. Mister Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and and what all. But that's not the only side of the tale. What's the other side? To Mister Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Okay, fine. Well, we need to get going, and I don't blame anybody for leaving. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders or worse i think you should talk to the town's vicar about it max his name is all right fine the mission's Where on do the I east find side him? of town you can't miss it on account of it being the only clean thing all right fine we'll swing over there thanks mister 
I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. All right, well, now we've got moral dilemmas. We've got to get moving. We've got to figure out where we're going and get out of this town. Got our new companion, Pervati, who I'm hoping is a mechanic. That is all we have time for tonight, folks. I really hope you enjoyed the first part of this playthrough on the Outer Worlds. I'm really glad that it's here. We've got our guy building up. Let's see if we can get some more character to him as time goes on. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit like. If you want to watch the rest of this playthrough, go ahead and hit subscribe. And if there's anything you think I can do better, please feel free to leave a comment and let me know.